Amen. Let us receive Mokisha Andrews Ray. She's coming in her own way. Welcome, everybody. All right. Good morning, everybody. I'm kind of tired, but as young folks do, I'm not. Um, but I'm coming to you. Oops, I swear. I'm coming to you from. Well, hold on. Guys, it's tricky. My topic is do not move prematurely. And it was coming from one, James 1 through 2 3. And basically, what I got out of that was I have a few scriptures, by the way, that I'm just going to point out at the end because it's a lot of them. But yeah, I'm believing God that whatever comes out of my mouth, which is I don't know, that He will get the glory out of it. So I'm praying that I'm going. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just come and say thank you. God, I thank you for peace. I thank you for revelation. I thank you for joy. I thank you for grace. I thank you for mercy, oh God. I thank you for your favor. I ask that I, as I speak, oh God, that you decrease. As I decrease, you increase in me, oh God. God, have your way, Holy Spirit, in me like never before. I speak over fear. I speak over anxiety. I speak over everything that is not of you, oh God, and tries to come against me in this time, oh God. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. It has no power and it has no authority over me because you have given me the strength. You have given me the ability. You stand over my mouth and I, you shall, you shall speak through me. So I surrender and I say, have your way, oh God, in this time. In this place, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, um, I was asked to pray, and the Lord has given me a word out of nowhere. It just came, and it said, Don't move, move prematurely. And I'm going to read James 1 through 2 through 8, my bad, to give you understanding where I'm coming from. It says, My brethren, count it all joy. When you fall into various trials, knowing that your te the testing of your faith produces patience, but let the patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any, any if if any of you la lacks wisdom, let the master of God, who would give liber all liber liberally and will without reproach and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith without doubt, doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. Um, so yes, as this is saying, don't be moved, but count our joy through your circumstances that you may endure because it's not easy but I know that for me is when things are not easy for me or when things are scary or when things are uncertain, I tend to run from it. Um, and, or I'll tend to do it really fast because I don't know what the outcome is gonna be, but God is continuously to teach me not to move prematurely because that will, not mess up his plan because he already knows the plan. He already knows what he's going to do. But that will push back what he's trying to do, which is a work through me for him to get the glory. It's not about me, but it's about him getting the glory through me. And it's going to be in the vessel for his kingdom, for his people. So um, my notes that I have were like, you know how we go through moments where we move out of God's timing because we want to see the fruition of what he told you to do, but in your timing, like I said, we want it in our timing. So we rush to do to do it early or we run back to where we're comfortable in. We're comfortable in. And he's saying, like, you know, don't be moved by it. Don't don't let the waves move you to and fro but stand on his word and stand on his promises 
and whatever he told you, it may sound like it's for now, and it may be, but you have to get the yes from him. And even if it's, an, if it's a no, it's okay, because that no can turn into a yes in, in, in any other season. And you never know. It's by patience that we shall see his glory. Another thing I wrote was, like, when we pray, when we pray about certain things and God says to be still, but we want the answer we were looking for. That's the same thing I said earlier. Um, honestly, in that right there, hold it goes out of your way. Being still means to do what God has called you to do in the moment, that thing that he has called you to do now. But being still is in trusting him, is in allowing him to do a work within you, to let him isolate you. Because this is the thing. A lot of times when we talk about isolation, we think it's the enemy. We're like, oh my gosh, like I'm going through a place of isolation. And you know, it ain't nothing but the devil. The devil got me up in here. I feel locked up. My back is against the wall. I don't know what to do. Sometimes God puts you in isolation. And he puts you, basically, that gives you a time to know who he really is in your life. Because we go by what the church may say. Um, by the way, we are the church. But the church really may say, or what we heard growing up or whatever. But it's like being still is letting the Lord do a work within you. So it could pour out of you glory. It could pour out of you oil. It could pour out of you whatever it is that he wants you to do in this kingdom on earth. And it hurts, and it doesn't feel good, and you feel alone, and you feel like you have nobody to talk to. And yes, we were like, you're not alone, and you have you do have folks to talk to. But honestly, in certain type of situations, you don't. Sometimes you got to lay in the bed and just cry and call out to Jesus and say, Jesus, I need you to show up. God, I don't know what you're doing through me, but I need you to comfort me in this season because yes, he may not take that throne at your side, but you just gotta let him do that work. You gotta you gotta hold on to him and say, I'm not gonna let you go until you bless my soul. God, whatever it's gone going through with tears in my eyes, not knowing why I'm going through this thing. God, I know that you'll get the glory and you will get the victory. And through it all, I have to stand on your word, your word, your promises, and knowing that well, I will lack nothing if I hold on to you. I will lack nothing if I seek your face. I will lack nothing if I just fall on my face and surrender and say, God, have your way. God, you get the glory and I shall get the victory. I shall be victorious in everything that I do because you said I will. And so I just stand on your word and saying you move. And not just for me, but for whoever I'm connected to. It's people that you're connected to or they're connected to you. It's for a purpose. And that's why he's doing work within, inside of you, out. So whatever, whoever is around you won't get infected by the things that is in you that is not of God. But it will bring glory to them. They will want to know, why are you like this? Why are you so happy? Why are you so, why do you have this so much joy in the midst of all that you're going through? In the midst of the pain, in the midst of the hurt, in the midst of the unknown, why are you like this? And all I can say is nobody but God. I can't say, oh, because I did this or, oh, I went to therapy, which therapy is good because I go. But certain things, it's like you have no words to. You have no words to reply, but no, say nobody but God. And I could lead you to him, but you got to continue to make a way. You got to continue to wait. I can't continue for you. And another thing was, I got, was, I believe that when we continuously keep on, no, I believe that when we continuously keep wanting to do things our way, he will allow us so we can realize that it's in, that it's in his timing. And yes, that in the yes, Hey, yeah, and the yes that approves for him to get the glory, which I said earlier. Basically, what I'm saying is that we're not in charge of our purpose and plans. Like, he has for us. That's what it is. So surrender your overthinking, your lack of patience, your whatever it is that you struggle with, surrender 
is to him and saying, I I can't do nothing. Basically, Holy Spirit have your way. Basically, what I'm you know what this ain't in my notes. Take your hands off of the potter's wheel and let God be God. A lot of the times we want we want to be in control, but God wants us to move in his timing and his way and the purpose that he has for us. But sometimes he we want our hands to be on that potter's wheel and we want his hands. And sometimes he takes his hands off of it. You know what? I, okay, I'm going to show you who I am by showing you that you cannot endure this process without me in it. I'm going to show you what my strength is to show you that you cannot go through this process. You cannot do anything without my glory being upon it's his glory that makes up the difference it's his glory that makes that crooked path straight it's his glory that keeps us my our mind stayed on him it's his glory that saves and covers us under the blood of jesus it's his glory that continues to strengthen us in every area where that we're weak it's his glory that heals it's his glory that makes a way it's his glory that delivers it's his glory his glory makes up the difference in everything that we do but all we got to do is surrender 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 we want our family to be saved you surrender you want your family you, whatever your finances to come up you surrender and you say whatever it is god i surrender it to you i surrender it to you because you have the victory over this thing god i have to, i can't i've done i've done all i can do basically you're saying i've done all i can do that's in my hands but when you put it in his hands, it multiplies. It continues to multiply. It continues to multiply. Just like Jesus feeding the five thousand. That little boy that was there, he had a little. He had that little food. But when they saw that, and God took it, he he blessed it and he gave it up to God, and it multiplied. And that's what we got to do. We when we get something, when God, when we hear something, no matter what the doctor says. No matter what your mama may say, no matter whoever you connected to may say, whatever we get something, give it up to God. And if it's for his glory, and if it's in his will, let him be God and it shall be multiplied and applied in your eyes like he wants it to. But it's up to you to surrender. I can say it all day long, but we got to have it in our hearts to receive it. We got to have it in our minds to say yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, I'll obey. God, I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll say whatever you want me to say. I'll do whatever you want me to do. But God, I need that yes. That yes that will continuously be in my mouth. That yes that will continuously be in my body. That yes that will continuously be in my heart. Because you, you, it's nobody but you. Your power is working within me. Your strength is working within me. Your grace mm -hmm. is working within me. I can do nothing without him. Yeah. He says, I we can do all things through Christ. Yeah. He didn't say we can do all things through us. So whatever we're going through, it's within him that we can endure. Endure the pain. Endure the frustration. Endure the doubt. Endure the, the anxiety. Endure the depression. Because he says, speak to that thing and it shall be removed. By faith. He says, speak to those mountains and it shall be removed. Yeah. By faith. Mm -hmm. He says, speak to those things and it shall be removed. By faith. He says, speak to your body and you shall be healed. By faith. He says, speak to your mind and your mind shall be re regulated. By faith. Whatever we do is by the faith that as we believe. As much as we believe, he said, as little as the mustard seed, as we believe, it shall multiply and it shall grow. It's by our faith that we move, it moves mountains. And it's by God that he'll get the glory. Sometimes he, we have to allow him to spread the red sea for us. Not yeah. other people. Not your pastor. Not the leader that's over you. Not your mentor. Not your therapist. But God and him only. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to go through those things where we are in the unknown and it's a scary place and the enemy is in our ear consistently telling us who we are. But that's what I learned during these times of surrendering and saying yes to God and pouring it out is I don't have to speak it all out. When you get to a place of knowing that God is God and knowing that he will supply and knowing that he hears you, even if you don't say a word, 
Even if you just say Jesus, even if your this tears come down your eyes, and when you hear the enemy speaking in your mind, all you gotta just all you gotta do is just rebuke it in your mind, and he shall flee. You say resist the enemy, and he shall flee. But he didn't always say speak to that thing, and he shall flee. He said resist, so you can resist it in your mind. You can speak it. You can do it however you want to do. You can surrender, and he gotta flee because wherever the spirit of the Lord is. Whatever his his whatever his presence is, nothing that is not of God shall be in that place. It gotta go. It gotta go. It gotta go. So we cannot move prematurely yeah. because when we move prematurely, it will mess up what God has for us in that process. We say, Yes, our God, I wanna do your will. I wanna do your way. Yes, I will obey. But when you get to that point where you're being that Where's your obedience when you are in pain? And God said, go anyway. And you say, God, I'm hurting. God, my family going through. God, I'm in the hospital. God, I'm grieving. God, I know I'm supposed to believe in you. I'm supposed to hold on to you. But I'm hurting. But he will remind you of the yes that you said before. He never said none of this was going to happen. He never said, oh, just because you're going through this, I'm just going to overlook it. He just said, the yes that you said, I'm counting on that yes to be a now. And sometimes we don't know why he allows things to happen in the midst of those adversities. We don't, uh, we don't know why he, he speaks to us and tells us to move in the midst of those adversities. But it's an obedience. Okay. It's an obedience. It's nothing but obedience. We can say it all day long, but if we don't move, he won't move. In the beginning, yes, when we get saved, and yes, when we first know him, yes, he's going to lead and guide us. He's going to be there. He's going to provide. And it could be a barely a prayer that we ever could pray, and he will show up and show out with the little belief that we have. But sometimes you got to have a childlike faith. A childlike faith coming to saying, God, I still believe, even, on a, even though I don't know, I don't know how this going to happen. But I believe it's going to happen because you're my father. You say you're, I'm, you're my other father. You know, you know what I mean? You show up for me. You make a way. So, God, I'm depending on what you say. I'm depending on your word. I don't know how this is going to happen, but my answer is yes. Mm -hmm. I know that you can. I know that you will. And so we just have to believe it. When we go through these things called life and these things called, you know, basically adversities, and we go through these journeys of learning things and having to go through these trials and tribulations and all that, sometimes it grows our faith, but sometimes it lessens our faith. And so it's like we have to get to a moment in a place of saying, I'm a believe God no matter what. No matter what. And a lot of times, I think we, a lot of times as Christians, as believers, a God of a followers of God, we forget that Jesus went through pain also. And we always say, you know, we always talk about when he was on the cross and he said, take this cup away from me. I like if I don't want to go through it. It hurts. It's in pain. But he did it to show us that even through the pain, be obedient. Even through the adversity, even when folks talk to you around your back, even though, even though another thing, see, it's, I'm telling y'all, this ain't even in my notes. When the disciples saw Jesus do, do the miraculous. He healed bodies. He delivered. And he said, well, what do you believe? What do you believe? Do you believe that you can be healed? Do you believe that you can be transformed? Do you believe that you can be renewed in your mind? What do you believe? He's seen all those miracles. He's seen all those miracle signs and wonders. 
in God. And they see it, but they still didn't believe. You know how I know? Go back to the, the 5,000. And they said, how can we feed all these people? After you didn't see him do all these miracles, he didn't make a way out of no way. He didn't heal. He didn't deliver. He didn't set free. He multiplied. He done so many things that you saying that he can't do this. And his mama even backed up and said, hey, go to him. Go to Jesus. And you tell him that we don't have enough food to feed all these people. And all he told me to get the baskets in Everything else is going to be multiplied. And it will still overflow. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of what we go through, and obedience, and our yes, and our cry, overflow will happen. When we allow him to do the work within us, when we allow him to change our minds, when we allow him to do the, do the work, change our lives, change the way we speak, change the way we act, change our character, how whatever it is, it will ooh, it, it will be an overflow, an overflow of his love, an overflow of his mercy, an overflow of his grace, an overflow of who he is in us. He will continue to let his character be in us as we allow him to do the work within us. And that work is hurting because we're so used to, oh, this is how I grew up. This is how I've always been. Oh, my mama said this. Oh, my dad did this, so this is what I'm used to. But that's the thing. If we're going to be in the kingdom of God and we want the overflow and we're praying for our family members to be saved and we're praying for these to happen and we're praying for miracles, signs, and wonders, we're, how are you going to do that if you don't let God do the work? We do the work by surrendering. He does the work. We do the work by surrendering and obedience. He does the work because of that. Because of his grace. Because of his love. It is nothing that we can do to ever please God. But it's his love that runs so deep. It's his grace. It's his mercy that we see every morning. I heard that for so many years. And I never really understood what that meant. And I'll clap my hands and i say, yes, it's nobody but Jesus. It's because that's what I heard. But as I went through what I went through just recently, now that I know, that I know, that I know that it's nothing but his mercy and his grace. It's nothing but his love. It's nothing but his favor. It's nothing that I can do. My life was literally in his hands. I couldn't save me. I couldn't resurrect myself. But I had to continue to hold on to the unchanging hand. Hold on to his will. Hold on to his promises. Hold on to what he has called me to do. Because in this time and in this season, we have to allow God, we have to open our mouths and allow God to do the work within us so these babies can be saved. So these babies can know who God is at a young age. So they could be the next generation to prophesy in obedience. All they need is trained to be trained up. All we need is to be obedient to whatever God wants us to do. All right. So I'm going to try to go back. I don't, I don't know. I don't know now. I'm going to try to go back to my notes. Uh, another says, what else I was talking about? Our answer should be a yes when we, a yes when he is doing a new thing in us. And yes, it will be lonely and you will feel like people who thought would be there for you to hold you up aren't there because he wants us to depend on him and him wholeheartedly. So he didn't say we wasn't going to go through no pain. So it is, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so it does match up. He didn't say we wasn't going to go through no pain. He didn't say we wasn't going to go through any adversity. 
he didn't say it wasn't gonna make it was gonna make sense to us, but he said if you just be obedient, if you just say yes to me anyway, without knowing why. I believe we want to know the why, and then we'll move to the end. But that doesn't work like that. He says when you move, all you got to do is take a step, and he'll do the rest. Even through not knowing the why. Even though it may feel like it's scary because you can't hear his voice. But you know that he is there because you can feel his presence. And sometimes you can't feel his presence. It's just him trying to test your faith in the midst of it. Like he did Peter. He knew what Peter was going to say before he said it. But he still tested Peter anyway. Sometimes you do that to us anyway. Um, another thing was, don't let your heart be hardened. All I have to say is, don't let your heart be hardened. Through the process, don't let your heart be hardened. Due to disagreements, through the pain, through the anxiety, whatever it is. Because I can't speak for y'all. Y'all speak for yourselves. But I'm saying, through the process, don't let your heart be hardened. But allow it to open up for God to do the work and do the work. Um, another thing was whatever you believe God for in your life, just know that He is a way maker and He is a promise keeper. Even when you are in a dark place in your life and it may feel like you're you are in bondage, know that He hears your He is there and He hears your cry. That's why when I was talking about isolation, when we feel like, oh, I'm in isolation, so it's nobody but the enemy. But sometimes we're in isolation, so we can know it's nobody but him. It's not by the prayers. It's not by what people may say. And yes, he speaks to us. But sometimes I believe we depend more on people than we depend on God. We depend more on people's prayers than we depend on God. We depend on what people say than what God says. Because when we open up that Bible, we can sharpen it to a sword. That means we're just going to cut some things up in this. And it's painful. But it's easier to hear from somebody who was human just like us, who makes mistakes just like us. Because it will make sense in a way of it won't hurt me. Even if they walk away, it won't hurt me like that. But if you, when you open up this Bible, and when you ask the Holy Spirit to show me where I'm at, show me mm-hmm. where I need to work on, what I need to work on mm-hmm. in this season, That's it. for you to get the glory. What is it? What is it that I'm lacking? What is it, oh God? And be real with them. I'm not saying to be holier than thou, but you got to be real with him because you got to be real with yourself. And when he gives you that word, it may not feel good. Matter of fact, it won't feel good. I'm going to be real. I didn't read that word. So I read the word now in a different way that even I have to continue to just sit on that word throughout the week because it's even through the pain, even them. Through though this is cutting me, God, this hurt. He said, "I know, but I'm do, I'm doing a new thing." You're not in that last season that you were in. You're not who you used to be. I had to take you through that fire, and I had to let you stand there for you to know that I'm there with you. But you gotta be, you gotta be purified. You gotta be changed. You got to be delivered from those things. And until that I know that it's time for you to be delivered, I will take you out and you will be at your goal. But it's to going through those fires continuously, not just one th- time, but through life. Through the life that he has given you. Because we don't know the day that he said, okay, your time is up. We don't know. But it's just by saying yes. 
yes. My answer will be yes. And everything that I face, my answer will be yes. Because you said, I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. Are you with it? Or are you going to stay standing? But I'm doing a new thing. If you just hear me, hear me, hear my voice, seek my faith, turn from your way to way, surrender it all, because I'm doing a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. And it's a shift that's happening in this moment. Mm. It's a shift that's coming to happen. And if we don't move when God says move, or be put what God says to be put, and be still when he says to be still, then we will miss the very thing that he has wanted to do to us in this time. And we'll be stuck in that moment. And we'll say, God, why? Why am I still here? I thought you said, and you said I did. But you chose not to move. You chose to act in disobedience because it didn't feel right. Or what you saw and what you what he said then go hand to hand. Which why would it if it's not in the same season? So just know that whatever he is doing, trust his will and his way because he knows the plans that he has for us. And another thing that I wrote was that wasn't even my notes, but I'm gonna keep on going. Um. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna read this part. This is from basically what I was told the other day. It was saying I was told the other day that even though God brought me through the tragic time of uncertainty, that just because I talk about it a lot, I talk about it, about it all the time, and what He has called me to do in this season. Not to let what he's doing. Not to let what he's doing through me to get to my head be, and become prideful in the process. Even though I talk about it to a few, I talk to a few about what I believe God wants me to do. That they, they do not know that even though I may seem to be ha get happy and excited, that is still scared in me and that it it is what keeps me humble because honestly I don't want I don't know what the future may hold and I'm just walking the road of the unknown and I'm just being still and what he has called for for me to do with joy during the pain. Having joy during the pain. First and foremost, I'm always talking about my testimony because this, this one is the biggest one I've ever had in my life. And I'm always going to speak that word. I'm always going to speak what he has done because not only is it blessing me every time, but it could bless somebody else. And it could let them, it could show them that, okay, God is real, that he is a way maker, that he will heal my body. Because he did it for her, but he could do it for me. And I really do believe that it's by our testimony. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. So how can we have a testimony if we don't allow him to do the work within us? To refine us in the fire. Even though we don't know the why, but for him to do the work and to not give up in the midst. Don't run back. Just stand still. And you shall see the salvation of the Lord. Just be still and know that he is. He is continuously covering you. Another thing that I learned that I always ask people after I pray. Um, which God convicted me about this. After I pray, I'm asking, okay, God, I, I ask people to cover me after I give a word or I pray. Well, God 
showed me, he told me, is you already covered. I'm already covering you. I'm covering you in the midst of your enemies. I'm covering you from them. I'm covering you while you're learning and being trained. I'm covering you in the midst of your uncertainty. I'm covering you even if you don't believe yourself. Know that you are covered and that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. Nothing the enemy can do that can remove the covering that I have over you. So no matter what I you see, that is in my name, for my glory, as you allow the Holy Spirit to speak, you should know that you're already covered through it all. And it's the trust me. Don't move prematurely, but trust me. Don't walk out, but trust them. Don't go forward and get ahead of yourself and think that's what God wants you to do, but just be still and trust. Um, what else? Yes, yeah, so another thing you said, we always talk about God working from the outside in, but he works from the inside out. We want him to work from the outside in. We want him to bless our family. Basically, all of what I said, that's what it really means. We want him to do those things before he does the inner work. But he says, for in order for me to pour out, I gotta go within. The surgeons at the hospital, in order for them to get to that very thing they gotta go through, they gotta go from within. They go they gotta go from within. They gotta open you up and they gotta go from within to fix that thing. And so, yes, I believe and I pray that whatever was said, bless somebody in the process. I didn't know half the, half the stuff, but I really do believe that we should know not to move prematurely and to believe God and stand on his word and stand on his promises and believe who we say, who he says we are. So we won't be moved. So we won't be wavering. So we shall Stand on his solid rock, on the solid rock, which is him in every way, in every season, in everything that we endure, because it's in him that we have everything we need. It's in him that we have the victory. So, yes, that was my word for today. Um, I'll give out a few scriptures, and then you guys will read it whenever you want. But the main scripture was game one through six. Um, James one through six, James one one through six, and the other one was Jeremiah twenty nine and eleven, Habakkuk two and three, Proverbs sixteen and nine, and Psalms twenty seven. It's twenty seven fourteen, yeah, and Isaiah forty one and ten, and so that's the scriptures that I have that goes in my notes, and so anybody who has something. They want me to pray about. Please put it in the chat and we can go from there. I pray this best somebody in any way possible. If not, Pastor Carrie, can you hear me take over? Yeah, I'm here. Anybody have anything they want to pray about? Anything they want us to agree with? Um, to declare? I want to say the word was amazing. It was very good. Um, Lakeisha. Praise God. Um, Praise God. Praise God. Um, mm. I just want to say that I did receive quite a bit this morning. Um, a lot of it hit home. And uh, it's just a blessing to hear, hear the word and to know and confirm that 
we do need to be still and let God do what he needs to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I would also uh, like to keep my boys, Xavier and Kellel, in prayer for their salvation and wanting to know and hear from their heart God's word. And also that Xavier and his wife, Felicia, find a, a church home so they can constantly stay in the word. Amen. Anyone else? And we're going to ask, as we pray, um, if you would open your mics, if you can. And we want to pray together because there's something when we're, something about praying together. Don't want to have just one person. We want to join in and agree and pray and believe for God, for what God wants to do. In the name of Jesus. So if you can, we're going to go before the throne of grace. Amen. Thank you. All right. So I'll begin. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, I just come with you to say, as humbly as I know how, just to say yes, thank God. you. Thank you for your word that went forth, oh God. Thank you as it only not not only as a breast me for the breast of mm -hmm. God to know and hear your word in every way possible. I thank you for it to speak to our spirits, oh God, in every way, oh God. I ask mm -hmm. that you continue to have your way and have your life, way, oh God. God. Strengthen Jesus. us in every area, oh God. God, yes. build us up from within, oh God, for you to get yes, the God. glory, oh God. As we continue Jesus. to seek your kingdom, oh God, yes, that God. you continue yes, to show God. up and show out in every way Thank possible. You. God, you because you be say better. you get God. the victory. You, you get, get the victory and you get the and glory. So I God. just thank you, Jesus. I thank, thank you for you. what you're about to do, oh God. I thank you for yes, the salvation God. that's about to go forth, oh God. Yes, I thank God. you for what you're going to either do within your children, oh God. Yes, God, God, I ask that you can do a do a deep work, oh God. With yes, a deep Lord. work within us, like every way possible. Thank oh God. you, Jesus. Help us to go mm -hmm. deeper in you, oh God, so we can go yes, higher God. in you, oh God. Higher than ever Jesus. before, oh God. Right now, yes, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Thank you, As Lord. you can see the speak through our minds, oh God. God, yes, God. That help us to be who yes, you have God. called us to be. God, yes, without Lord. fear, without trembling, but to hold on to your word. God, hold to on. hold on to your rock right now, hold in the name of Jesus. God. God, mm -hmm. never let go, oh God. God, as we yes, surrender, Lord. God, as we surrender our Thank will, you, God. God. So as we indeed. surrender our will, oh God. As we surrender Hallelujah. our family, oh God. As yes, we God. surrender each and everything that we are going Thank through. Yes, and we Lord. say yes, oh God. Yes, oh yes, God. God. Yes, oh yes, God. God. Yes, oh God. Yes, yes, God. yes, oh God, through the unfamiliar. Name yes, oh God, through the pain. Yes, oh God, for the family. Yes, oh God, for salvation. God, our answer is yes. Our answer will be yes, yes. in everything yes, that goes forth, oh God. Yes, oh God. Yes, Amen. we shall Jesus. go forth. Yes, we shall go through. Yes, we yes, shall God. go in the name of God, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare in that it name. shall go forth right yes. now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, show up. God, God, move to the church right yes, now in the name of Jesus. God, make a way right now in the name of Jesus. Salvation right now in the name of Jesus. Help us to have an ear to hear your word, oh God. Help us to read your word, oh God. Holy Spirit speak, oh God. Holy Spirit reveal, oh God. Holy Spirit set free, oh God. Holy Spirit cut whatever it is that is not good right now in the name of Jesus, God. God, do it right now, God. God, we need you like never before, oh God. God, we need you to heal our body. God, we need you to save our souls. Yes, God, God, we need a purified mind, oh God. God, God we need a purified heart, oh God. Yes, God, God, strengthen us in every area, oh God. Now in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus, God, we're depending Hallelujah. and we're leaning on you, oh God. Hallelujah. God, through the uncertainty, oh God, and we say have your way. 
God, we give it all to you. Yes, God, we give it all to you, God, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Go work right now in the name of Jesus. And God, do what you have wanted to do in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Help to have the faith to believe, have the faith to receive, have the faith to say, We move. We move when you say move. Now, we want to move, oh God. Yes. God, do yes. it. Do, do it, God. it. We believe. We do act God. God. In the name, name of Jesus. Right in the name, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Have, Have your way. way. Have your way. way. Have your way. way in Thank Jesus' name. In, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How did they say to us to say thank you, oh God? God, I thank you for your glory. I thank you for your peace. I thank Amen. you for your favor. Amen. I thank you for yes. what you are about to do right now in the name of Amen. Jesus. In this season, oh God, yes, as we yes, stand still yes, yes, and decree yes, oh yes, that yes, we shall see yes. the salvation yes. of the yes. Lord in the land of the living. We shall see folks yes. to be saved. We yes. shall see our families to be yes. We shall see yes, whatever it yes. is, oh God, we shall see it. Jesus. We shall see yes. it come forth. As we stand on your word and to believe that it's already done. And it is so. And so it is. Yes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glad of our shame. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that everything is in your name, God. Hallelujah, God. We decree and declare the goodness of the Lord. Rest on all of us today, oh God. Oh Lord, and I thank you, Lord, for replenishing and special prayer over Mokisha right now in the name of Jesus. She poured out her spirit. Spirit, as she poured out her soul to you, God. Hallelujah. Continue to bless her, God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, God. Let her, oh God, feel your presence even now in the name of Jesus, that you are doing a new thing. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, in the name of Jesus, 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 you right there in that room where she is right now. You are touching her right now. Hallelujah, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah, that you're opening that door. Hallelujah. Oh, God, when no man can shut, and you're closing that door when no man can open, oh, God. We thank you, God, that you are working, oh, God. You are working, hallelujah, in her life, oh, God. Oh, God, and she is receiving you right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A new thing. Hallelujah. A new thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you open, hallelujah, your mouth, God said, I'm going to fill. Hallelujah. All you have to do is open your mouth and I'm going to fill it. Hallelujah. With the holy word. Hallelujah. The word shall come forth. Hallelujah. Like never before in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, let your glory Hallelujah. fall this morning. Hallelujah. Glory of our shit, God my sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone on this line, even on Facebook, God, whatever God you want to do, hallelujah. You do it, but don't do it without us, God. We want to be with you in it, God. We want to live in it, God. We want to move in what you're doing, God. In the name of Jesus. So we thank you. Thank you. We 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 thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for those answered prayers. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Say yes. Hallelujah. Yes to your will. And yes to your way. Hallelujah. God, we obey, we are obedient to you, God, for what you want to do in us or do us, oh God. We are obedient, we are receiving it, hallelujah, right now, right now, 
Not right tomorrow, now. not yesterday, oh, but right God. now. Hallelujah. Right now, Lord. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name. Thank you, thank you. Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you. Oh, glory and honor goes to you. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. You. Jesus, oh, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. And before we close, we just want to, I just feel in the spirit just to, well, Keisha's a young lady, and I believe that we need to encourage her before mm. we leave off of this line. Just mm. if you have a word of encouragement, even if you have something um, to share on Facebook, and you want to just send her a word to, of encouragement, amen, because she could be somewhere else. She don't yes, have to be Lord. here. Yes. She don't have to be here. Yes. But God has chosen her. He has handpicked her yes. for such a time as this. Yes. He has handpicked her from the beginning before she was even thought of. Yes. God already proclaim and declare mm -hmm. who she yeah. would be at this time in this season of her life. And she is here. Yes. So we thank you. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Shandy now stand it on. God is just taking you from faith to faith and glory oh. to glory. Mm. Yes. That what you endured, that what thank you've been you. through, it solidified your relationship with him. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we, I'm not saying we, we took God for granted, but a lot of times we, you know, this is just my relationship with God. Yes. But God had to take you deeper than the surface and what you were at. Jesus. So you can be impactful to this mm -hmm. next generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because there's not too many people of your age that standing firm on the things of the Lord and declaring it and okay yes. with being alone and okay and speaking what God has said to speak and more and more people in your generation need you like never before you've been through the storm yes, God. but you still stand it oh, oh, let me know what it looks like to be at the door of death and Thank God, you, God made you up out of that thing and you had to walk through your process of healing Thank you, God. Even when doctors was giving negative report after negative <laughs> report, your faith had to be intact. God was building you even in the midst of that. Yes, God. He yes. was building you. Thank you, Jesus. I hear say, do not despise small beginnings. Mm. Mm. When you said yes, you meant yes. It wasn't because you wanted to be seen, you wanted to be known. You meant yes. Because you know what that yes has cost you. Mm. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to allow God to use you. Don't walk in fear. Don't walk in intimidation against nobody. Yes. Because yes. greater is he yes. that is in you. Yes. Than he that is in the world. And God will set your face as a flint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't look at people's faces. Don't look at the stairs. Be bold as a lion. Jesus. And stand in him and declare what he has birthed down on the inside of you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. Like I said, mentioned earlier, you you mentioned some real good points, and I love how God yes. moves through you, and it shows, and it we see it comes from your spirit and your heart. And I appreciate that. And I thank the Lord for you. Mm -hmm. Because like 
Um, like Mr. Neil just said, just keep going. Stand in his word. Yes. Because you're doing a good thing. And I pray that God keep doing a good thing through you because it, uh, you are anointed, sweetheart. You are anointed. Yes. yes. And I pray that the Lord keep his blessings on your life so that you may spread the word, especially to young people in your generation. And I just thank the Lord for you. And I, I pray that the Lord keep blessing you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My sister, you continue. You keep pressing forward. And I believe God wants you to, as more, the more you speak, the comfortable you get with knowing that, yes, you heard him. Yes, he's pleased with what you're doing. Yes, you are young, but you are still a mouthpiece for the true and living God. You don't have to be discouraged because you're different, because you're supposed to be, because you're called out. You are sanctified. Mm -hmm. You are set aside. For the master's use. God has you where you are. And stay focused on him. But one other thing. Never ever let somebody else's opinion. Cause mm -hmm. you to second guess. What God is doing through you. What yes. God is saying through you. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to have an opinion. Mm -hmm. But you stay focused on mm -hmm. God. And do not second guess mm. you and who you are in him based mm. on somebody else's opinion. Mm -mm. I love you to life. Yes. So we continue to be a blessing as you are blessed. Amen. Mm. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That's what bless me. I don't know about that. <laughs> Amen. Amen, women of destiny. Continue to walk by faith and not mm -hmm. by sight. Mm -hmm. Walk by faith. Sometimes we gotta walk blindly. Okay? You don't see, can't see in the natural. God says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future. God bless you today. Awesome prayer. We love you. We will see you next week. Amen. The faith. Love y'all. Amen. 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 We love you too. Pastor the faith. Have a blessed day. Everybody have a great one. Love Amen. you to life. Love you. God bless. God bless.